always wanted to have dreadlocks. I think maybe I should just do it. Before I can't do it. Because based on my family's history, I'm probably going to lose my hair eventually. Which sucks. It's just... Being someone who's really enjoyed having long hair since he was about 10, like, that'll suck. <laughs> I'll be a healer. I'll probably drink a lot more those days. No, <laughs> I won't. Want see what I'm drawing? <laughs> it's funny, looking at it on the camera versus looking at it like this, I notice things about it I don't like. <laughs> I gotta do that more often. See if I just rig this damn camera up. See what do I what I want to do is take this. This is a pretty good, you know, decent little handy cam thing. Um. Oh, hello. And I'll have to rig it from you know above. I think I could do that. That would work, but I don't think it helps. I think it's gotta be... Yeah, it's gotta be like right here. Anything more than here, and it's just not gonna work. Well, that's not bad though, because I think I could get one of those arms. You know the, the arm lights you can get for art desks? Art desks. Oh, naughty word. Uh, discs. Desks. Pasts, chests. Does anybody else have a problem with saying those words? Say those words for a minute. Say them. Just like when I'm talking like this, I'm having a wonderful time talking. When I include the word discs, it ruins the whole conversation. <laughs> I don't like those words. I don't like them. I don't like the way they sound. So, uh, I like this little guy. I just had this. I. I was watching a trailer for something, uh, some stuff, oh, they were talking about EU, uh, StarWars.com has an official video up talking about the EU and how it's not going to be canon, but they'll still produce it, uh, and it'll be labeled as legend, so anything EU is now referred to as legend, extended universe from this point on is all canon because it's all coming from Disney, I believe. So, I was watching a video about the Star Wars Extended Universe, and there was just, you know, different Star Wars scenes from movies and shows, uh, Clone Wars, and um, video games, and there was this one scene, it was just real fast, it was on the screen for like maybe, maybe a second, and it was just these Jedi's running, and one of them jumps over the stone wall, or, or maybe not even a stone wall, it might have been like a down droid or something like that, and the, that pose, it just... It was like a flash went off, and like, boom, I just saw it, and I knew <laughs> I had to draw something similar. And this is what I've been doing, and uh, I really like it. I think it's cool, and uh, it's not perfect, and I already see some issues. Like, I think his head's a little too big, but, you know, if I did ever chose to do a print of this, I would probably just, um, you know, do some Photoshop work. Because sometimes the effort to, like... I mean, I know you can take, like, another piece of paper, stick it over it, and just draw it, and then scan them in and move it together. Um, but <laughs> sometimes you just don't have time for all that work. It's a lot of work. Well, uh, I'm going to touch on a little bit of everything from this point on tonight. Uh, I really wanted to... There's two things that I had written down. One was the crying game, which I probably, you probably heard me say that about six or seven times. And the other one was PC gaming, because PC gaming is a, is a whole other world. Let's talk about PC gaming and see where it goes. It's probably not going to end up where I want it to, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I got to see a bunch of people that I hadn't seen in a while tonight. Uh, Holly and Karina from Life Schoolers, the homeschool group that we kind of get together. I haven't gotten together in the group in so long. And I want to say, I apologize. It's, 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 you know, I have been super duper busy. And like, when I think about adding one more thing into the day, even though it's something good and positive, like, I think, oh my god, if I add one more thing to my day this week, 
<laughs> or one day this week, I'm going to shoot myself in the face. Life's on a roller coaster right now. It's really going up and down fast, and like <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better ever since recording that other video the other night that I didn't post. <laughs> now you're all like, "Come on, just post it." I just I um I kept myself under control pretty well. I watched it about three times. It's a half hour. It's like thirty something minutes. Um, but I think there was a very strong message I was trying to send in the first part of it like I could probably put that online it's a whole Jesus thing um, how I think Jesus was a great guy uh, <laughs> but he's misinterpreted by a lot of people um, nonetheless if that's what it takes to get you through the day then go for it man that's what I always say uh, PC games the first PC game I ever bought, oh my god, I wish I could remember what it was. It was a role-playing game. I bought it because it was the best-looking game. Now, that we're talking 94 here. My aunt, in Messier, uh, had bought it for me. I was going to get a word processor just because I wanted to start writing because I was always having ideas. Um, I could get back to like maybe doing an audio version of my book. Maybe more people will at least listen to it in their car. Um, that's an undertaking though but it's one I definitely want to accomplish before I die <laughs> and hopefully have another like 20 books that I can do the same with um, but it's just a matter of dedicating the time to sitting here in front of the microphone and reading the whole book <laughs> and cutting it you know and doing chapters or whatever but uh, I will do it I will do it and I'll post it for free most likely um, with donations possible. By the way, if anybody ever feels like donating to the site, <laughs> I mean, or to the cause rather, there's a uh, a PayPal <laughs> donation button in the about section here. I didn't put it on the front because I felt like that was pompous and kind of arrogant. Like, but it's there, um, and I would never, never expect any of you who are having a good time to donate a dime. Honestly, I honestly mean that. Like, that's not why I mentioned that. I'm just saying, like, there will come a time where I do want to offer some free things like that. And if people choose to, then that's great. But, like, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get all crazy. I'm taking the curvature of the keyboard rest, wrist rest, and just using it as a kind of like a, a background line thing. Yeah, it doesn't work. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, if I got rid of the brick wall, I might be able to do something with that. Or change the angle of the brick wall. Like, it should be going... Maybe I could just add, like... A second wall. <laughs> Crossing the first wall. Why? I don't know. I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> I mean, I just, I, ever since I've been doing this, I haven't been drawing as much, so I kind of want to do that whole rig setup, because, uh, Will Terrell, watch one of his videos, watch, uh, any video, any random video, preferably one of the ones where he's talking while he's drawing, and he's always got something really nice to say, or profound to say, or something I can walk away with, whether I'm an artist or not an artist. I think you could walk away with what he has to say and be like, hey, you know, that that's an interesting uh, idea. Um, uh, j uh, you know, check him out. Uh, it, it, he, if you're an artist, you should definitely watch some of his videos, just for fun. If you don't like him, don't watch him. But, like, my recommendation always is Will Terrell. Uh, somewhere, let me think now, uh, I'm on the internet, I think it's that way, there's a Swell Fellas link, and it's a lot of the channels that I, I go to on a regular basis, actually some of them I don't necessarily go to on a regular basis, but I feel like if we all share each other's stuff, it, it may have a stronger impact on view counts and so on and so forth, because um, but the hard thing is, is like, I've been really intimidated to ask other people 
to do that. Like, none of you guys, because I don't think... I mean, I know a lot of you guys have your own channel, but it, I, I think it's, like, favorites and stuff like that, so I wouldn't expect, you know... Um, but I think about, like, people who have channels where they have a strong subscriber count, uh, you know... 10,000 to a million or something like that. I don't know if anybody's got a million. I'm sure there's some people out there. But, um, you know, I don't know what my point was, so I'm just going to drop it. I'm, I'm intimidated by people who have a high view, uh, subscriber count. I'm Like, I don't want to be, like, one of those guys that's like, hey, can you check this out? Like, I know Will Terrell. I think he would, just because I feel like he's very personal with his audience. And he's not, like massively known like you know he's he's got a huge following and, and and stuff like that but he's so good and like he's he's worth checking out i'm just saying like just for what he has to say while he's drawing you know you don't if you want to do something else just listen to what he has to say it's just fun it's just it's not a spiritual message or anything like that it's just like like a human human contact like you should be happier you know like like you should be good to people and like a lot of the stuff that I say, like, he's got the same, I think, kind of, uh, <laughs> I can't think of the term, uh, outlook on it, so, very positive guy, and he's, he's kind of helped make me a more positive person, too, just because it's cool to see that. Mm. So PC gaming, <laughs> I don't know why we go on these tangents, but we're taking them together. We're walking down these. Hey, look at that! There's a little path there. It looks like someone uh, planted some bushes up there and some nice flowers. Let's go. Let's go down this road for a little while. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Sometimes they go that way. Anywho, PC gaming changed things a lot because I remember getting that first game. Or getting other games on the PC, especially when like Ultima Online, and then inevitably EverQuest on, you know, EverQuest. Uh, Ultima Online, I thought the concept was great, but it was last like two generations ago graphics, and I'm looking at it going like, why would anybody want to play that game? It's like so retro. <laughs> at the time, retro wasn't as popular as it is now. Um, but I understood it, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like, I watched Mike Coelho play it for a while some days, and um, I remember thinking about it and being like, man, if they could just improve the quality of the graphics and make it more, uh, I don't know. I don't know what my exact point is there, but uh, EverQuest came along, and it was first person or third person, and you walked through, you know, this massive world in, you know, in real, you know, like you're walking, what you see is what you get when you buy Coronet. Uh, so you go through these forests and you just, you know, annihilate orcs or whatever. And uh, I don't know how I got so quickly from uh, computer gaming. I remember playing some of the MUDs, uh, signing on to college servers where it was all text based RPG type games. Um, when I could get it to work, I would use it all the time. Dave Matthews, not the my, um, would uh, he gave me his password and his name so I could log in and play whenever I wanted to. And I made a character. My first character ever I made was Barrack, Barrack True Blood, the Minotaur. Um, and it was kind of like if anybody's, if you like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, if you've never played like the the text-based game, there's a simulator online somewhere. If I can figure out how to link it, I will. If not, I'll put it in the comments. Um, and it was just like, you waken in a dark room. That's it. You got a keyboard prompt. I mean, it's, it, they, there's a little bit more story involved there. But, um, you know, it explains what you see. You see a bathrobe hanging on the back of the door. Um, there's a window in the room, a telephone. And so... <laughs> You have to start thinking outside the box immediately. This kind of opened me up to outside the box thinking when I was very young. Like, I had to have been 16, maybe. And I remember playing this and being like, okay, I leave the room. <laughs> and it's just like, you can't do that. You're lying on the ground. And I was like, holy crap. So you have to say, stand up. The room starts spinning as you stand. Um, sit on the bed. And you could do that. And, like, so everything 
you had to figure out not only what the right move was to make, <laughs> but how to type it. <laughs> Sometimes you'd be like, I stand up. You can't. Your foot, or, you know, just something would be like, no. <laughs> like, um, I kneel. I crawl. <laughs> you try all these things trying to figure out, like, uh, logically. And sometimes it was really simple and you overthought it because of that first level where they made you over, you know, uh, you, well, you get my point. <laughs> my next step up in, in online gaming was, like, Oregon Trail. Actually, that was probably first, the, the eighth grade Oregon Trail. Uh, remember, uh, what were the internet service providers back in like the early 90s? Type them down below if you get a chance. Um, obviously AOL, but I think AOL still has like an established online uh, community or whatever. Uh, there was one before that. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Prodigy. That's it. Oh, thank God. Don't you love it when you can't quite remember? And it can go either way. You're like, oh, no, no, don't forget, don't forget. Oh, I remember. <laughs> like, that doesn't happen often for me. Usually it's like, I give up. I can't remember what I was thinking of. That was perfect. Prodigy. That was my first one that I had before AOL. And, um, like, my first computer, the most exciting thing about it was the San Diego Zoo on a, a CD-ROM. <laughs> you put in your computer. Zzz came with two drives too that was the first time they started doing that which was pointless <laughs> well you could install while you were doing something else with the other one I think but the computer processing power back then my first hard drive was 210 megabytes I don't think you can buy anything in megabytes anymore can you everything's at least gigabytes yeah that's crazy and terabytes, gigabytes and terabytes. What's next? Uh, Filipino bytes? I can't remember. I need to know. We need to know together. Let's find out. Let's discover this. Uh, okay, so uh, mega byte. And it goes to gigabyte. Terabyte. Oh, petabyte. Ooh. I wonder if they're going to rename those because it sounds like pedophile. <laughs> Am I the only one that picked up on it? I don't know. <laughs> Binary digit, one byte, one kilobyte, one megabyte, one gigabyte, one terabyte, one petabyte, or petabyte, uh, one exabyte. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I can't wait till we get to those. One zettabyte, one yodabyte, one broncho brontobyte. It's like a brontosaurus. And then a geobyte. Can you imagine the day when we get to those? That's virtual storage. Anywho, that's pretty crazy, huh? Ooh, my eyes are getting all crazy. What the hell are my glasses? I want a brontobite. I could go for a brontobite burger right now with a side of geobites. They're delicious. You put them in ketchup. 18 minutes, man. I think I feel like I'm just playing catch up tonight. There's so much I wanted to talk about. Um, let me just wrap up my PC. I was going to get a word thing so I could, uh, word processor so I could start writing. But at the time, it was still pretty expensive word processors. <laughs> Probably about maybe a fifth of the cost, maybe a sixth of the cost of. Um... <laughs> I love this. Uh, Of a computer, a uh, home PC. But, um, I knew there was a lot I could do on a PC. Like, a lot more than I could do on a word processor. And I, I knew that it made sense for me to do that. Like, I could kind of see at the time I was young enough, but not old, you know. You know that line where, like, because now I don't know what's cool anymore, or what I should be following. Should I get rid of my phone? Should I get rid of my desktop? <laughs> or actually, this thing is... <laughs> Has anybody, a lot of you probably have, you nerds out there, built computers. Well, my tower, I always get the biggest possible tower that has the most cooling available. Because this room gets hot, and, like, there's a lot of elements that could definitely heat this thing up. Especially in the winter, because it gets so hot in here. 
so I have water cooling on the the CPU so like this is but the the cases they're like literally <laughs> I can't even show you like it's longer than oh I guess I can go back here oh that might be a little extreme I might be lying there this is kind of fun I never go back here it's probably about yeah probably about that long and probably you know <laughs> 24 to, you know, I'd say about 30 inches tall. It's got a rubber handle on top. Just sweet case. It doesn't matter. Now I'm bragging about my sweet case. <laughs> I'm such a freaking nerd. I am. I really am. Uh, and I don't mind that. I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I wouldn't have it any other way. My brothers and sisters. <laughs> uh, block of corn recently was challenged to a fight. Um, his new arch enemy is. Let's see if we get. Block a corn. Burn a corn. Burn a corn. Block a corn. <laughs> you know who that's for. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Let's call it. It's late. I want to draw a little bit. Drink a little bit. Uh, Carol's watching American Idol, so I'm definitely doing another one. <laughs> this is going to be, that's the one that's like, oh, why did you do that? Like, last night, the, the one that, uh, I mean, I, I promise you, I will post it one day. I just, I just, it's very, very personal and very emotional to me to watch it. Um, I'm building it up as like it's this amazing thing. It's not meant to be. It's just, I, I just, a lot of things were going through my head when I was, you know, saying it last night. Forget it. You guys want to, oh, my aunt's coming next week. That's exciting. I like seeing her. She's a good person. All right, Diane. Uh, so, yeah, it'd be fun to have her next week. Um, Maybe I can get her on the road to 40. I should probably get other people on here. I wish, I wish Carol would do it because... Oh, I wish she would. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm recording, aren't I? <laughs> That's terrible. That's horrible. <laughs> I apologize and I take it back. I can take it back. She's my wife. I take it back. <laughs> Assholes. Uh, any who's going to call it. I gotta work tomorrow, Saturday. <laughs> I have to work an eight hour day. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Who do they think I am? <laughs> like, really eight hours? <laughs> I like those. They're, they're different. It changes things up. I do them once every other week, every other Saturday. And, uh, and actually, they're seven hours because I take an hour break. <laughs> uh, we're given the choice between a half hour and an hour. And, and I really like taking the hour because it's an hour that if like I want to go to the Goodwill, actually get lunch for myself out. <laughs> like, that's fun. That's fun to do once a week. Uh, once every other week, actually. So, oh, 23 minutes. These are going to start turning into epic two-hour films. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun when all said and done the road to forty to take all three hundred and sixty five videos, cram them into like a nice little package, like all the fun little uh excerpts and bloopers, and just do a dVD <laughs> and uh mail it to the president no <laughs> I don't know just uh just a have I don't know just something fun I don't know i I guess I like myself. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's good to like yourself. And just don't go crazy with it. <laughs> and you, I'm cutting it right now because it's 24 minutes and I just did a 25 minute one. So I know I'm asking you guys to invest a lot of time. Feel free to skip through these videos. I'm sure you'll uh, just find a conversation that interests you every two to three minutes. <laughs> Oh, my brain, my broken brain, my broken brain. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and if, if I don't see it tonight, which I certainly don't blame you, um, do your best. Do better than your best to make somebody smile tomorrow. 
I want to. I want you to make two people smile tomorrow. You've had enough practice. You've had 37 videos now. 37. That's over a month. Our one month and one week anniversary, roughly. <laughs> two people tomorrow. Uh -huh. And if if they. You know, I, I really do need to. What I think I want to do, I've been thinking about these smile cards. What I want to do is um, make these cards. Let's say smile on one side. Very beautiful art. They'll be cut rounded edges. They'll be high gloss on both sides. Um, and on the other side, I want it to be like the vodcasting. The problem is, is that like the vodcasting and like and Road to Forty don't give you that happy message like I want it to be understood like I don't know maybe shitsandgiggles.com I wonder if that's taken probably is that would be a good one to have oh my god 26 minutes alright I'll go look into that have a great night and if I see you in the next one in a few minutes great and if I don't then I will catch you the next time you come around go listen to Counting Crows uh, Saturday nights and Sunday mornings. I love that CD. And that played a big part of one of my summers over the last two years. I can't remember when it came out. I remember sitting on the porch. Here we go again. I was sitting on the porch every night in the summer, relaxing with just uh, Christmas lights out there. It's all screened in. Well, the dogs are tore up. But uh, just hanging out there at night and being like, man, this is awesome. I used to do it in the winter, too, with my crazy fuzzy tunnel jacket. I'll have to show you that when winter comes around or when it gets cold again. It's funny to think that we just started this and this is January. It was, well, I guess it was. I was wearing thermal. Oh, my God. 27 minutes. Uh, almost 27 minutes. Uh, flannels and thermals and, like, <laughs> now, like, I couldn't imagine wearing anything other than shorts and a t-shirt. <sighs> All right. I'll see you next time. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't feel committed to watch all of these. I, I mean, I would like it, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see you next time.